I'm Greg Powell, and this is Investors Insights. You're listening to Investors Insights with Greg Powell, Certified Investment Management Analyst and President and CEO of Thought Plan Partners. Welcome to Investors Insights. Today I'm going to be talking about should you have money in the market or money out of the market. If you're watching this on our blog, I encourage you to subscribe to it. Simply type in your email address to the right of this video and click submit. If you're listening to this as a podcast, subscribe in iTunes or your podcast provider. This way you can stay up to date on important financial and market information that we have for you each week. So let's jump right into it. Should you have money in the market or out of the market? That's the question I get asked so often. And my response to that question is, well, a lot of that depends on your financial blueprint and your economic situation, as well as how much risk and return you want to look at. If you're willing to take more risk, you know, great. Uh, trying to get a higher rate of return. But it may be you don't need to take that much risk to get the return. I think what the answer should be, should I have money in the market or money out of the market, is to understand that sectors of the market go in different rotation. So let me give you an example. Earlier in 2014, the hot sector was the energy sector. Then later in the year, money moved out of the energy sector and went more international, preferably towards China. And from there, it then went into retailers as we approached the back to school season and, and the summer months. So the point I'm trying to make is that money is moving in and out of the market all the time. Does that necessarily mean that people are moving out of the market and putting their money in a money market account? It doesn't. What it means is that they may very well be moving into another sector. So let's take, from the standpoint, the political and, and tension that's, that's built up uh, in the Mideast again, in Iraq. Uh, the reason I'm bringing that up, as tragic as it is, the United States has gotten back involved uh, working to defend against ISIS. If that continues to escalate, well, then would one of the sectors become uh, military equipment manufacturers, people uh, and companies that build airplanes and, and arms and tanks. And, and so th the point I'm making is, as the year goes by, different things occur. And we may view the situation as tragic, uh, as stressful, uh, as we look at all the global situations going on right now. But somewhere in our market, there's probably a sector that will benefit from what's going on. And so as you look at things, it's not necessarily do I go to cash, and, and there comes those times where it is proactive to move a larger portion of your portfolio to cash. But for the most part, it's understanding to move according to where the trends are and what's occurring in our U.S. economy as well as what's happening on a global perspective. So it's, it's understanding and watching those steps uh, and situations occur that help you keep up uh, with the returns in the portfolio. At File Plan Partners, we're constantly looking at what's the next hot trend, what's the next hot sector. Now, are we day traders? We're not. And, and at times, we will go into a sector of the market, certain positions, and hold on to them three, four, five years or longer. Uh, I've been doing this 34 years, and we've got some clients that have had certain stocks for a long time with occasionally taking profits. But there are, there are other situations in the portfolio where we say, you know what, this particular industry or sector has gone probably as far as they can, can go at this time in this economic cycle. And it's time to take profits out of that sector and turn around and place it in one that's undervalued. And if you maintain that type of strategy, you always find opportunity where there's chaos and you always find opportunity in the market in your portfolio strategies. So, and if you're not having these conversations with your current financial advisor, then please consider us if you're a prospective uh, client watching this uh, vlog. Uh, at the same time, if you're a client of ours, just know, as, you, as you've witnessed in the past, we love to have this dialogue. We love to talk about it. Uh, it. It benefits us as well as you, and we like to be as proactive as we possibly can. 
I hope this has given you insight, especially if you're someone that's anxious at this point as the stock market has gone up so high and gone, oh, has it peaked? It's not necessarily that the market has peaked. It may very well be. There's just a different sector you need to move into. Keep that thought in mind. I'll look forward to talking to you in the coming weeks. More information at fiplanpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, SIPC.